In this video, I'm going to show you an important feature of Live, the context-sensitive mouse cursor. Your mouse cursor changes depending on where you move it. If you move it over top of a clip, right around the middle, it changes to a hand. This allows you to drag material back and forth on the timeline. If you move it to the edge of the clip, you'll be able to trim your clip backwards and forwards. If you move your mouse to the middle of the clip and you see these four squares pop up, those are fades. You can create fades by dragging the handles and you can adjust fades by dragging the other handles. If you move your mouse up to the timeline, it will first turn into a speaker. Once it's in the speaker, you can click and preview your project from that point. If you go up a little further, the mouse cursor turns into a magnifying glass. If you click and drag, this is how you zoom your timeline. If you go up a little further, it turns into a, a resizing tool and you can resize the universe view for your entire Ableton Live session. And that's true for the borders between a lot of the sections of the window. For instance, if I have the audio editor up, I can resize that with the same tool. In the audio editor, the mouse functions in the same way, allowing you to zoom in for finer control over your audio editing. If you're in a MIDI clip, you can zoom horizontally, just like in an audio clip. And you can resize your MIDI editor, just like in the audio editor. The MIDI clip has the additional benefit of being able to zoom vertically. One additional feature of the MIDI editor is the fold button. If you press this, then you will only see the notes that are currently being used in that clip. The context-sensitive mouse may seem complicated at first, but after you use it for a while, it will become second nature. 